Now let's turn to George Oliver, the CEO of Johnson Control. Hi, George. It's good to see you. Um, George is chairing the Energy and Environment Committee at the Business Roundtable, and uh, he's also leading Johnson Controls, one of the leading companies in the sustainable building space. George, how do you see the outlook of business on strong climate action, and what role can buildings play in tackling the climate crisis? Yeah, thank you, uh, Ms. McCarthy, for leading this great discussion. And thank you, Mr. President, uh, distinguished leaders and members of the cabinet. It is truly an honor to be here today. It is, it is clear from the previous panelists that there are opportunities in communities, large and small, as we take action on climate, and there is a need for training to fill the good jobs being created. In my role as chairman and CEO of Johnson Controls, a global leader in smart, healthy, and sustainable buildings, we're eager to drive harder and faster to cut the 40% of greenhouse gases that come from buildings. The good news is that when we do that, the, up, up, that the upgrades pay for themselves because we are cutting energy waste. I also have the honor of chairing the Business Roundtable Energy and Environment Committee in working with over 200 of America's largest employers from all sectors of the economy. I can tell you the CEOs recognize the threats posed by climate change. Business Roundtable members believe the risks are real, they're increasing, they are costly, and they may be irreversible. As we look ahead to COP26 in November, we have the chance to implement smart policies that ensure that all communities and workers benefit from reducing carbon emissions. Business Roundtable believes that a comprehensive market-based policy can spur innovations, ensure equity, and help avoid the worst impacts of climate change. Importantly, Business Roundtable knows that business and government must work together and lead by example to meet the scope of the challenge. In fact, the vast majority of Business Roundtable CEOs have pledged to reduce their emissions, with nearly half committing to achieving net zero emissions in their companies by 2050 or sooner. At Johnson Controls, sustainability is our business. We committed to achieving net zero carbon before 2040 and announced science-based targets for 2030. We are proud to be ranked among the 100 most sustainable companies globally. President Biden called for a 4 million buildings to be revamped. Absolutely. At Johnson Controls, we know that that can be done, and we would be foolish not to do so because inefficient buildings are a climate hazard and because money is wasted right along with energy. Working with our customers, we've cut emissions more than 30 million tons, and we have saved them $6 billion. And we guarantee the results, since we are confident substantial savings will be achieved. With, with digital technologies, like our Open Blue platform, we are creating not only efficient, but net zero buildings, campuses, and whole communities. So we think it is clear, driving sustainability and tackling climate change is a collective effort. At the Business Roundtable, and Johnson Controls, we know that when we take this challenge on, we will cut emissions and cost, create good jobs, and build resilient, healthy infrastructure. Mr. President, we are ready to get to work. Thank you. Well, George, uh, thank you. Um, it's incredible to have the Business Roundtable and your voice so powerfully partnering on this issue with us. And it means a lot, as well as your leadership at Johnson Controls. It's, uh, it's quite inspirational.